Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another Fire Mountain video. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, trying to look at the camera here. We'll walk over rocks. So basically, I'm out here duck hunting today. I'm actually hunting my dad's friend's ranch pond. He was kind enough to let me come out here and um, hunt this morning. So hopefully we'll get into some birds. So basically, the hunting hasn't been going too well for ducks, at least this season for us. So I just was trying to brainstorm anything I could to like think of how we can get into some ducks. And then I remembered my dad's buddy has this ranch with ponds. And at last year I came out here just to hang out and there's tons of ducks everywhere. So thought I'd ask and so yeah, he's letting me hunt this place today. Oh man, I'm winded. It's been a long walk. It's a long walk in, but hopefully it's worth it. Anyways, so I came in yesterday evening with him, set up the decoys and everything. Ended up jump shooting a widget off the pond before setting up the decoy, so that was cool. Once I get over this hill, the pond should be below me, so I'll catch up with you guys there. I don't know how much of that you guys are all able to follow along with, but so basically, as I was coming into the pond, I'm hearing ducks flying. Heard a couple groups fly overhead, and then I was starting to set up my layout blind, and I'm just getting buzzed by by big groups of ducks coming in. A group lands on the water right in front of me, and they just had me pinned like I couldn't keep moving. 
where I mean I didn't want to keep moving because I didn't want to scare them off the water and they just kept coming in so I was able to just kind of slink back and sit down under a tree and I was basically under that tree for about 45 minutes and this is past shooting light too like it finally became shooting light and <clears throat> They were just, none of them were in, in range. And then a big fog came in. And so I thought I was pretty well hidden. I snuck in as best as I could. And then I was waiting on them to try to get them in range. And they finally just uh, decided they wanted to head out. And they all flew and I got one. I should have brought the waders. There he is. First duck of the day. Hopefully we get some more flying in here. That ring neck. There was just a bunch of ring neck on the water. It was a bunch of ring neck and widgeon from what I could see. So hopefully we'll get some more birds flying. When I was sneaking up, trying to get in close on them, I kept hearing birds just buzzing over the top. I didn't want to totally look over. I was trying to stay flat so I see if I can get any of them to land or come in into eye level so I can pop up and shoot them. And I was hearing them, didn't see anything though. So I'm going to set up. I want to set up closer to the water. This is what I'm working with right here. But uh, my blind is not even brushed in at all very well I mean it doesn't even really match this area but I'm trying to make do so basically I was trying to set this up this morning birds were coming in landing in the decoys so I just tucked myself into there sat there for about 45 minutes after shooting light after legal shooting light and then crawled because it's so foggy they were tucked up in the middle and I just crawled to that rock and I crawled to that rock then I crawled into there and I was waiting and waiting and waiting and then that's when they all just cut up and went and then I was able to nail one. I should have got a couple but I guess the shooting's off. Anyways, well, I'm going to try to set up again and see if we can get some more coming in. <laughs> it actually just got, I got two out of that group. But one of them died because this, the one that I picked up was crippled. So I went over there and got him, but the one that died, I didn't notice him on the water. And I didn't notice him on the water. And um, he's just the current now, well, because there's a little breeze coming in, so it pushed him down to the other side of the pond. And I noticed it. It's another duck. So it looks like two ring necks out of the group. I heard. I was told the middle of the pond's really deep. I haven't even put the waders on yet, but this one's kind of out there. So I brought a fishing pole and <laughs> I'm gonna try to cast over and get this guy. You see him right there. And it's super shaky, I'm sorry guys. I recently, I had a catastrophe. I went out to a refuge, hunted with my buddy and my whole entire camera that I film all my videos on got completely soaked and drenched. And I just sent it back because I have a warranty on it. So it's getting repaired. It was completely broken. So I'm using the cell phone today. But yeah, I'm gonna get this stuck now. Almost got him first cast. <laughs> I've never done this before, so this is a whole new whole new method. So close. 
ring neck number two. Beautiful bird. This is my these are my first two ever ring neck. I've never shot a ring neck before. I mean I really haven't shot that many birds. This is actually or I should say I haven't shot too many species of ducks yet, so it's always fun getting a new one. Damn it. I just had a group about of about seven mallards circling me for a couple minutes. And I totally screwed I should have took a shot. When they first they cupped over my blind and that was my best opportunity and I let them keep circling. I wanted them to see if they can get a little lower. But man, I messed up. I should have taken a shot. They circled around me probably 10, 10, 15 times. Well, it's now about 10 o'clock. Just having a little snack. The fog's rolling in now. It was super clear and nice and then the fog's coming in so don't know if that's going to be good or bad, so we'll find out. I'm going to stick it out maybe a couple more hours. I'm really hoping to get another group of birds in. I don't know if you guys were able to see. I had the, the head GoPro running, but I had a big group of mallards come in, and they were just circling, circling, circling. Started to cup in a little bit a couple times, and uh, the one time they were cupping right above right above me here just coming on on a string just coming in straight on in for me cupped and i was seconds from popping out and taking shots at them but then i was like you know what? i'm waiting and i waited because they were just circling so much i thought they would just finally commit and just come in real low to land but they never did um after about 10 plus circles they they just took off so I couldn't get them in. I was so excited. I, I want to get a mallard so bad. I have never, never gotten a mallard before. So so anyways, I'm going to hang out here for a couple more hours and hopefully we'll get into some more ducks. And if not, we'll pack up and then um, I guess plan my next adventure, which would be, I guess, to come back here or go back to the river. So anyways, I'm going to sit back. Fog and wind's rolling in real tough now, so we'll see if that does anything. Well, I just packed up. Unfortunately, nothing came in. <clears throat> so it's about 12 o'clock. Didn't get anything else coming in before, or nothing else came in after those mallards, or I didn't even see any birds flying after the mallards. <laughs> As I look and think, I see birds off in the distance. Mm, might be, but I'm all packed up now. So anyways, fun day out here. This is my first time ever hunting like um, 
private land, I guess. Yeah, it's the first time ever hunting private land. So it was diff a kind of different experience. I mean, I'm out here on a spot that no one else can hunt. I mean, he told me yesterday that I was the first one to ever hunt his property. So that's, yeah, first one to hunt out here. So these birds, I don't know if these birds are more of like residential birds or if they're mi migrating birds. So I guess I'll, I'll find out if I keep coming out here and if no birds are ever here again, then I know that I just busted these birds out of here, which would be unfortunate. So I'm hoping that we got some migrating birds coming through. Um, so yeah, I guess only time will tell. And yeah, we had a nice flock of geese come over, about nine honkers came right over. But uh, <laughs> the the property owner said he doesn't want me shooting any geese right now. So he likes to have the geese around. So I wasn't shooting any of those, but yeah, it was a fun day out here. I wish I got shot at the mallards, but I didn't. And yeah, so today was a quick little hunt for you guys. Not too much action, but things are starting to pick up now. And finally shooting at some birds. So that's what I'm looking for, looking to do here. And I want to provide you guys with a little bit of action at least. Not, not too much sitting around. We'll see what happens and we got more in store. But if not, I appreciate you guys watching these videos. It means a lot to all of us that uh, you guys are watching. And we love all the feedback you guys have been giving us. It's just great. So if you like this video, go on and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Because as of right now, we're putting a video out every week. And hopefully we can get out more. But as of right now, we're doing consistent videos weekly. So subscribe, you'll get notified and all that good stuff. And you'll be able to follow along our journey here. If you've got any tips, feedback, suggestions, anything, throw them down in the comment section below. We'd love to hear it. And anyways, we'll catch you guys later. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Thanks for watching.